Why, oh why, would you distill your collection? Let's discuss. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Distilling your collection. Forgive me for moving around a lot. I have a little bit of pain in my back, so I need to adjust. But what I mean by distilling your collection is taking the low end that you don't use, that you don't care about, that you don't look at, and I don't know, getting rid of it or buy listing it or selling it for credit and buying something bigger and better. Why not take, I don't know, $405 cards and get a bizarre Baghdad, right? Is that, is that, uh, that's about right. Two grand. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like trade up because those lower end cards, those cheaper ones, Wizards is reprinting cards every day. Wizards is taking the wind out of your collection every day. Uh, the collection especially that you don't look at. And if you don't look at it, you don't use it. Why not put it to good use and put it towards something that won't get reprinted or something that you like or, you know, this, that or the, or a new freaking deck, whatever. There, there's options. OK, so why would you distill your 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 collection? It's so that you can maintain the value in your collection and if not, get something cooler, you know, because really, look. If you've got thousands and thousands of commons and uncommons and bulk rares that you never go through, isn't that just hoarding? Are you collecting? Are you playing? Or are you hoarding? See, that's the question you should ask yourself. Because if you look at things and you find that you're hoarding, <laughs> well, it's time to sell the bottom half of your collection. Now, I'm not saying sell or get rid of, uh, you know, your favorite cards or cards that have emotional, um, you know, ties to you or anything like that. I'm saying get rid of the cards that you don't care about, that you don't look at, and that have just been sitting there. Get rid of them. Buy list them, you know, uh, buy list cards for 50 cents a piece, send in a huge stack to Card Kingdom, and hey, you can get something real. So distilling your collection. This is something I like to do every once in a while. I like to do it actually twice yearly. If not, you know, it takes a lot to do. So maybe every year. But if you've never distilled your collection down and chopped off the bottom end, then now is the time. Because Wizards is reprinting every single one of those cards. And the price is going down. Extract your value while you can. The value may not be there much longer. You may find yourself in a time when all those Mishra's baubles, Ashnod's altars, and so on and so forth are just a dollar. And you'll only be getting a quarter for each. So before that happens, guys, remember to distill your collection. It's for your own good. And um, I think it's also helps in longevity with this whole hobby because if you're just throwing in money and you're never getting anything out of it and it's just a pile of hoarding you know it becomes like something to neglect and it becomes work and work gets you know with all of us procrastinators it gets pushed off and pushed off and pushed off until it becomes um just like a bitter subject and you don't even want to think about it and you don't want that to happen with magic right so yeah, definitely do a culling every once in a while. And, you know, I'm not saying get rid of your best cards or your favorite cards or even cards that you like or that you like the art. I'm saying chop off the bottom 50% of stuff that you just don't care about, you know, and, and put that money towards something useful that you will care about. That's all. That's the bottom line. Remember to like and sub. Uh, we got Patreon, channel memberships, all the fun things. Guys, magic is supposed to be about fun. And I see this, I see this as a way of um, enjoying the collecting part of Magic the Gathering just a little bit more. Because it helps me snowball my collection into bigger and badder stuff from all the little uh, useless stuff. 
I get to turn new modern $1 cards into reserve list packs or cards. And to me, that is pretty amazing. All right. Peace. Game over, man. Game over. What are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we could build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?